Here we go. We're back at it for round two of practicing on our comparison models. You guys, we've got another word problem here, and this word problem reads, as Miguel has three times as many rabbits as Sarah. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly circle my quantity and underline that also important word, it seems like, times as many rabbits as Sarah. Miguel has six rabbits. How many rabbits does Sarah have? So it sounds like we're trying to find out how many rabbits Sarah has. So Sarah would be like the unknown number right here. I'm going to go ahead and just say like that's an N to represent the unknown number. So Miguel has three times as many rabbits as Sarah. And Miguel has six rabbits. So We've got two different ways to show our thinking right here in front of us. The first way we can show our thinking is simply by writing an equation. The second way to show our thinking would be to write a comparison sentence. But before we go and do that, I would actually like to go ahead and model our thinking right now. Miguel has three times as many rabbits as Sarah. Okay, so we don't know how many rabbits Sarah has. I'm going to go ahead and just put an M over here, and we've got an S for Sarah right here. Miguel has three times as many, so what I'm picturing is those three boxes, and in all, Miguel has six rabbits, and we don't know N how many rabbits Sarah has. So if Miguel has six rabbits in all, and that is three times as many as Sarah, I'm trying to think about my multiplication facts. And I know that my product would have to be six. So I'm gonna just kind of plug in over here on the equation, write the equation, that we know Miguel has six. That's what we know. But we don't know what we started with. How many does Sarah have? Hmm. So I'm trying to think about a product of six. So essentially it's three times as many rabbits as Sarah. Okay, so three times as many as Sarah. Three times hmm equals six. Well, three times one equals three. Three times ooh. 2 equals 6. That means that if I were to put a 2 in each of these boxes, and let me just erase my N right there, let's see if it works. Okay, so we've got 3 times as many as Sarah. Sarah has 2. So 3 times, let's erase and see if it works over here. Let's go ahead and let's put a 2 Three times two. Does three times two equal six? Whoop, whoop. I think we've got it, you guys. So, wait a second. How many rabbits does Sarah have? Ooh. Well, our equation says three times two equals six. But we needed to find out how many rabbits Sarah has. Sarah has two rabbits. Now, we're not finished just yet. Let's go ahead and take the challenge and write a comparison sentence. So, hmm times as many as hmm is hmm. Well, I'm going to actually copy our equation and let's see if that works. Three times as many. Ah, look, you guys, in the word problem, times as many as two, you know, as Sarah, and we discovered that she has two, is six. So we've gone ahead and we've written an equation, we've written a comparison sentence, and we've solved for an unknown factor. Your job right now is to show your thinking. Don't, don't forget to show your thinking and make sure to take a picture and insert it into the slide. You guys are going to rock it. Good luck.